I use beauty blenders in my kits. I use them on my clients. I absolutely love beauty blender. Um, but I wanted to try different brands. And this, um, I don't even know, this is just like their pro blender. And I honestly don't like it. It's very hard. Whereas, um, this is a black beauty blender, by the way. I also got um, the black ones. But I don't know if you can tell. But this is very bouncy. And this one is not, if you can see, like... This is squeezed all the way. This one is squeezed all the way, and this is squeezed all the way. Ooh, like this. I don't know, like, okay, maybe you can't see the difference, but this one I feel like it just eats up your product, but does not give you that airbrush finish. Um, and it's so hard that like I have to like bounce really hard. Like I feel like I have to press it into my skin because it's eating away so much product. Whereas the Beauty Blender, I just bounce it on and it just gives me a flawless finish so yeah these two um, and then I bought this one first because they they were um, sold out of the pro blender and I got this one for to like do concealer and stuff but um, I don't know I'm not a fan of it it's the same thing as that one I saw time the infamous use these and she loves it you know she well, she loves this one and so I gave it a try but I actually don't like it um, I think I'm just gonna stick to the beauty blenders well actually I have one more thing to add on to that but yeah and then I also got this one this one um, it, this is like a velvet and then this side is just sponge and time time the infamous she uses uh, the velvet side to put uh, powder under her eyes so that's why I've been trying to learn how to use it so this next product is seriously amazing um, let me know if you guys want me to do a more in-depth review on all these beauty sponges that I've been using because I am kind of addicted to beauty blenders like I seriously have a ton of them I have like three pink ones in my kit and I have already thrown two away so these are my babies like I seriously love love beauty sponges um, so yeah so this next product is a definitely a life changer and this is the real techniques uh, version of the beauty blender and oh my gosh like for the price I think that's what makes me like it even more this is only like six dollars plus I got 20% off and it was buy one get one 50% off so I got this and um, a brush for you know for cheap plus 20% off so it was just like you just cannot go wrong with this and I don't know I just love it um, let me know if you guys would want a more in-depth review comparing all three um, and all that so next I got the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and honestly I'm not impressed with this I like the first one more I might go just go exchanges for the first one again um, but yeah like it's just cool tones which I love I love cool tones like I'm all about cool tones but I feel like these are more um, like pink cool if that makes sense and I feel like the colors aren't as pigmented and the colors are a lot lighter so um I don't know I'm just I'm just not a fan of it and yeah I'm not too impressed by it next I got a few um nail polishes from Madam Glam and I am in love with these so far um I had to cut my nails but I'm wearing Madam Glam in Madam the Madam Glam nail polish in Madam Red um, on my nails and uh, I had to cut my nails but I don't know what the nail polish is it's in my suitcase somewhere because I took it with me uh, when I went out of town this past weekend but these are the nail polishes and this is in honey cream and this is just a very pretty like sparkly gold and then this is a pink reptile family secret buy me flowers and hey pretty and the next few things are also a ton of more lip products I guess I'm a lipstick hoarder or lipstick or lip product junkie um, I got a few of the NYX um, soft matte lip creams and I got them in Milan Stockholm Abu Dubai uh, Zurich I believe I'm saying that right and Monte Carlo so I don't know I, I tried them before and I absolutely love the way they feel and then I also got two lipsticks T Rose and Mason um, I purchased these at Ulta 
Next, I got a few lip liners, and I got Cabaret Mauve um, Natural Ever and Prune. I also got a NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. And then for my birthday from Ulta, I got a full size of the Calvin Klein Mascara, and this is in the color Electrify. And it's a really pretty blue, if you can see that. Oh, it's so pretty. I've always wanted a blue mascara. It's funny, I wasn't planning to get a blue one, but then they're like, oh, we only have blue ones left. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. I've, I've always wanted a blue mascara, but I never felt like paying for one. So the last things I got are from Sexy Hair, and these are just travel size. And I got the Sulfate Free Soy Sh Moisturizing Shampoo. I have the big jug of this in my, uh, in my bathroom, but... I just need one for travel. I have the sexy, just the big sexy hair, but um, I don't know. I wanted the healthy sexy hair. And then the last thing is the Soy Renewal Argan Oil. So, okay, actually I thought that was it, but I was wrong. I have some more things, but I feel like, I think this is already 20 minutes into filming and I'm going to have to cut so much out of it, so I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and show you guys the other things I've been sitting around. Um, I got this brush set from BH Cosmetics and they were having like a October, you know, breast, uh, breast cancer awareness month. They were having like a sale and stuff. So, uh, this was on sale for only $5. So I had to get my hands on these because I am a brush holder as well. Sorry if I'm talking really fast. I just don't want this video to be super long and I don't want you guys to get bored. But, um, next are these lashes. I got these on eBay. I don't even know like what it just says Taiwan on the box. Um, I bought these for like a dollar and I just wanted to try I don't know, I was on eBay and I was like, oh, I guess they're only a dollar. I might as well try them. These look very thin, but I plan to double these up with my Demi Wispies. And then, oh, I wanted to show you guys my Ipsy Glam bag this month. Or not this month, but last month. Um, I got a hand cream. A Model Company Mascara. And Nicole by OPI Nail Polish in Feeling Very Cherry. And a purifying exfoliant from Epis. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Oh, and then the last thing. Oh, how cute. A Star Looks little um, lip gloss. Super cute. And then the last few things are a bunch of palettes. Um... I don't know, I've been hoarding these like crazy. I probably shouldn't have, but anyways, I plan to do a look with this very soon. Um, this is the Maybelline The Nudes, and I have a really pretty look in mind that I really want to try. So yeah, I really need to get on filming. It's just my kids have been sick like back to back, and then my husband got sick, and yeah, life. <laughs> anyways, this is the Lavish Palette from Anastasia. The Amrezy palette. But you saw me use that in a tutorial already. But um, here is the Catwalk palette. The Maya Mia palette. And last but not least, the Tamana palette or the Dress Your Face palette. Alright, I believe that is it. And um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video didn't bore you out and let me know if you guys like watching haul videos because I feel like all I do is tutorials and sometimes it could get boring. So I want to definitely try doing more talking videos um, where I'm not teaching you how to do makeup. I just want to talk about makeup because I love talking about makeup. So I'm going to stop talking now and thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you all later. Bye.